What's going on, guys? Oh, you know, just hanging out. This is Josh with Project Torture. We're going to do a seventh material tutorial video today for you guys. I've had a couple questions. People are like, man, how am I going to make something if I ain't got no textures or if I ain't got no this or that? And I'm like, well, I got a couple ideas I can show you guys. Some things I've never really seen covered too often that I think I'm going to go over today that may teach you a trick or two about making your own materials that are completely 100% legit unique. Maybe. I don't remember. All right, let's get started. Material. We're going to name it test. I'm not arguing with you. You don't have to name your test. That's just what I'm naming mine, and that's that. All right, so let's set a couple things first off. I don't want the lighting affecting my material, so I'm going to change this from default lit to unlit. Okay? Now, change it from opaque to translucent. So we're just going to mess with these two parameters all day today. I mean, you know, for the next, like, seven minutes. But it's going to be interesting, so let's do this. I want you to type in the word gradient. G-R-A-D, and you're going to see Radial Gradient Exponential. Now, there's a couple different things we can do. Before, one more thing. I'm just customizing. We got a little sphere here. You got your little different things. Click the plane. Now, you can't see both sides, so click back over here and make sure it's two-sided for me. That way, we have the option of literally just grabbing this thing and spinning around and whatever. I'm getting dizzy. Let's say we're going to plug one into emissive collar, and you see our figure. Well, if we plug into opacity and get rid of the black. Wow, we got a dot. I mean, I'm not going to lie, this is extremely, like, you know, you know, very, um, what is the word, popular material style for making particles with a lot of indie developers. So, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. I'm going to unplug opacity, though, and just hold the letter M. We're going to get a multiply note. And we're going to multiply this by the number 500. Let's do it. We're going to get like a, we're going to get the, uh, oh, yes, like a golf ball or a, a not really. All right, but we're going to start there. Okay, so. This is the only material you're going to need, or texture, if I may say. And it comes in, this, in the starter content, but it's just an alpha map, a macro variation. And I'm really going to use this to help our calls here. So, first thing, hold the letter A. Drag in the green and the blue channels. Now, you can hold this little, I mean, this, uh, this little this arrow here, and you can kind of uh, check out exactly what's going on. So, you know, like a preview ahead of time. You know what I'm saying? Each window will show you what's being processed. So, let's do a multiply node after that. Actually, nope, I forget that. Hold the letter L and get a lerp, okay? Now, we can do the same thing. Just drop it down and you can see what's going on. We're going to lerp that. We need two collars, right? Hold the number three. We've done this a few times in some old tutorials, but we're going we're gonna to do other things. Let's, let's, let's get a real nasty canary yellow and a real fluid, cartoony grass. I don't even know anymore. Now, look, if we just plug this into the emissive and replace this, we got this kind of look here. Now, but I want that fade from this. So just, just, just couple different ways to do this but let's drag this on back here let's 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 hold m get a multiply node one more time let's plug that into there and that into there and let's plug this guy into the emissive collar and be like wow wow what just happened i'm, I'm gonna make it a little more interesting but let's have another multiply right here in between let's multiply by the number 15 and then we'll plug that into this. And you're probably thinking, man, that's going to be bright. And you are correct. Oh, I'm sorry. That was already plugged in. Now, I want one more multiply node. Put it right here after it. I'm going to show you guys what we can do with this, okay? I'm going to bring this thing down, and we're going to make this thing pulse. Once again, you can see what all we're doing here, but that's fine. Right-click up here and type in the word time. And then right beside it, type in the word sign. S-I-N-E. And then we're going to go over here and type in the word bias. And you're going to get a constant bias scale. Now plug them in like so. And then this thing down here into this multiply. And look at what we're doing now, my friends. Making things happen. Go to the sign. It's kind of like your time. If you set it to 0 0.2 instead of 1, it's going to multiply a little faster. Yeah, it's booking it. 0 0.1, don't be scared. We'll do 0 0.5. And then we'll go in here, and it's kind of the, the, the rate that the collar is changing. We're going to do a 3 and a 0.5. And that's what we're going to do for right now. All right, we're going to keep it where it's at. Now, hold the number one. And into this density, just kind of bring it down. Drag it in here and go to 0 0.25. We're going to kind of bring it down a little bit. Make everything easier to see. But as you can tell, this is our material so far. And it's pretty neat. Out of nothing, you've got something. But we're, we're not finished just yet. But we're getting there. I want you to take these three right here. Control C. Control V over here. And bada bang, we're going to plug this into radius right here. And now you're like, I don't, uh, I don't think that's what we're doing. But just, just watch. Instead of 0.5, set this to the number two, and then set these to eight and 0.05. Okay, see, 
Now the radius is growing as that's happening as well. We got some key, cool stuff going on. Now I just want to make this material look a little better and I'm going to be happy with it. So watch this. Control C and Control V on this bad baby. Let's move it over here and do stuff with it. Not weird stuff, just normal stuff. Everybody calm down. Type in the word mask. You have to be able to spell. We've talked about this before. Let's bring down that arrow so we can get a good look at it. I like that. Just the red and green channels. You get just the red channel or just the green, just the whatever not. I don't care. I've made my decision. Now we're going to... You probably remember we do this. Hold the letter P. You get a little panner and you can plug it in here. We've done that before into the UV of what's actually happening there. If you set this to a negative 0.1, we can have like the material moving down. You're like, hey, I like that. I like that idea. Well, just watch. Watch what we do here. Let's add by holding the letter A and let's add this in here. Now I like this, but I hold the letter M and drag it in here. Drop the drop the drop the the uh, the window down and let's just make it a little like not as powerful. So multiply it by a point. Zero, three. It's a multiply node. And if we plug these in together, and then we plug this into here, we've got this look. So you've actually got like a really jittery, staticky looking, fiery, watery substance of green and yellow slimy gook. It's perfect for, for almost anything. Copy and paste these three. Control C, down here, Control V. Get yourself another panner. Press P and plug it into the back of this thing right here. Bam. Now set it to 0.5. Just 0.5. No big deal. Keep everything else the same. Create yourself a texture coordinate. Type in the word texture C. Wait a minute. Wait for it. You just got to keep waiting. Bam, there it is. And now I'm going to add these things together with just another A. I'm going to plug it here. I'm going to plug it here. And I'm going to plug this into the UV. The UV of our radial gradient exponential. Zoom out a little. Plug it in right here. And what do we got? That's what we got. So like I said, guys, you can totally make some killer materials, even without a bunch of textures and, and high res. Nothing has, and not everything has to be photorealistic. You can literally just create and have fun and just be artistic. So you guys keep your heads up. Everybody that's having a little trouble, keep your head screwed on. Just keep doing your thing. Have a little fun with this. Hopefully I taught you a little something. Use this to your advantage. Do things I haven't thought of yet because I can't wait to see what you guys can do so I can do it because I need ideas. But thanks anyway. Thanks you guys for watching. Hey, subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel. Like the Facebook page. I hope you learned something. We're going to do more things coming up soon. We're going to jump back into blueprinting, but I do have a couple request videos I need to take care of. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned some cool stuff and I will see you next time.